So I figured while I had the camera out, if you all recall my Shazam wood, I'm guessing that's a pronounced Shisham. 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 Shazam. So, uh, over the weekend, I did uh, some cutting and some removal. I was really surprised at uh, how these were, these were really nicely done. I thought these would be like little stickers I would just peel off. No, that took some effort. I had to get up in there. Those were, those were never going to go anywhere. So that, that's, uh, that's some high quality. In fact, what I was thinking... Um, uh, me thinks, I don't know if I'll keep that knot or not. The knots are always kind of a cool thing, but it might be right where a, right where a hole is. And then it, uh, that inclusion would get all effed up. So me thinks, uh, this is the front. This is also a nice piece of wood too. Um, obviously with the holes, this will some do something like this something like this something like this and then uh, me thinks i might uh, reuse these for uh, the actual feet um because those puppies were in there and uh pretty solid so i'm kind of liking that um easy enough to reuse just drill the right size hole and uh make a little template and uh I think that's what I will do. I love reusability. But uh, I'm thinking that's going to be the look. Yeah. That's going to be the look. Chop it down. I'll probably get rid of that inclusion, that knot, because, again, uh, I'm going to guess the circles are going to be right on that. Maybe not. I'll see. But... Uh, the project has begun. Some heavy wood, too. Dense. Very dense. All right, that's it for now. All right, I said I was not going to do a bean cellar 2.0 update, so I lied. I have uh, cut the wood. I tried to keep that inclusion. I like that inclusion. I have made my cuts and offsets because of my rear brushes and funnel so uh, this is the size it's going to be i'm going to glue it right there to eliminate those three holes and uh, because these are the sides that i want uh, primarily um, the front and rear view and then i did uh, finally successfully thread these are shitty, shitty threads because my number 12 die does not equate to anything uh, standard at Home Depot or Lowe's. So I went with a metric five. So I threaded and then cross threaded. So I will effectively be able to lock this in. And then the remaining one piece I don't remember where this piece came from. The remaining one piece of shishim I don't remember where it came from. The remaining one piece of shishim probably look a little better on this side because of the grain. I love the grain. So I'm going to cut this in half. I'm going to rip that. I'm going to rip up probably a quarter inch and then that will be my I think that will look quite cool in the seam. So I will sand, attach with my washer and nuts. Once that's attached, oh, and this has also been polished and coated with lacquer to prevent the steel from uh, fingerprint usage, which is held up quite well on uh, bean cellar number one. So once I uh, glue a screw bolt, 
attach that I will uh, glue so that's what it'll look like I think that's very I love the character of the wood the different views uh, I will do that then I will dado cut fill that do all that wonderful stuff and then on the bottom I'm going to do this so that I will reuse two of the rubber feet which are really cool gripper wood so I'm going to redo that on uh, both ends the far end and then the aft end I don't know where I'm gonna put that probably something like that that's about what it will be so that is uh, the next time you'll see it it will be done and uh, we will be uh, filling beans and uh, looking at the accent with uh, teak wood teak oil teak oil yes teak oil all right that's it for now